This morning, pressure is building on teams and professional sports leagues to change controversial names and logos after Washington's NFL team finally scrapped its. After more than 87 years, the team announced Monday it is retiring and replacing the brand that many say is a slur against Native Americans. It's a move team owner Dan Snyder had long resisted until faced with a new wave of financial pressure from major corporate sponsors and amid nationwide protests and debate over racial inequality. For many Native Americans, the overhaul is long overdue. We've been fighting for this for decades, decades and decades, and we've been silenced and erased. And it just feels like a moment now where this is a significant turning point. FedEx, which owns the naming rights for the team stadium and led the corporate charge to change the moniker, released a statement noting it appreciates the decision. But as the team now debates a new name, Washington's starting quarterback, Dwayne Haskins, tweeting his opinion. As a kid who grew up in the region, I'll always be hashtag hail to the team, but looking forward to the future. What will be the impact, do you think, on other professional sports teams? Once we see Washington make this move, this is the one that we thought would be the most difficult hurdle in this conversation. Now I think it opens it up. NBC Sports Mike Tirico says teams from MLB to the NHL are now under scrutiny. The Cleveland Indians considering a name change, while the Chicago Blackhawks, Kansas City Chiefs, and Atlanta Braves say they are sticking with their names for now, though the Braves are reviewing use of this popular fan celebration critics call offensive. Once it happens in the NFL, it makes everybody stop and pause and look very hard at their spot. Natalie Proctor of the Pescataway Tribe sees this play as an important drive. I think the time is right now. I think the earth is changing. I think our mindset is changing. I think young people in particular uh, are seeing uh, the, the reasons for doing such a thing. So, Tom, now it's I guess it's time to create a new name. So when do you think that might happen? Well, the team has indicated it wants to have a new name before a training camp opens up, but that's only two weeks away. Now, apparently they have at least one or two names that they like already, that they pretty much settled on, but they've got to work through legal issues, trademark issues. So this could be literally down to the last minute before training camp opens. you got to wonder if you'll have a bunch of guys running around with a, a helmet and no logo, at least for a while. <laughs> yeah, we were Googling possible names, and we saw a bunch of them. The Warriors was on yeah. there, the Renegades. All right. We'll see what happens. All Tom, right. I have one. I what? like the veterans. What do you think of the oh, veterans? That that's way you, good. Pay, uh, you honor the nation's veterans. Just an idea. Oh, it's a good idea. Tom Costello, if they go with the veterans <laughs> right, if, if that happens, my friend. <laughs> We're rolling back that tape. Yeah. Well, it's I heard it cash in. All right. Thank you.